Hooligan wins first place. Javier coming in on a close second. What's up, boys? East side homie. You made the podium your third place, bro. Guys, get your popcorn and all your freaking doobies rolled and all your alcohol drinks and all whatever you guys do. I'm doing okay today, Huli. Thank you for asking. My dog's whining at the door again. So that's fun. <laughs> I'm okay. I woke up at 3 a.m. last night and I stayed up till about 7 a.m. and then I passed back out and woke up around 9. Trying to quit smoking weed too, so I haven't had any weed today. I'm gonna have a couple drinks though. Eat some of these. What is this barbecue? All dressed. You guys have all dressed chips where you live? Or maybe it's a Canadian thing. It's Miss Vicky's all dressed chips. Be chewing on those today. Back is doing okay. Not too bad today. I took. Usually when I first get up, I'll take a naproxen or whatever just to start the day. So it's kicks it's, it's kicked in now. Around dinner time is when it starts to flare up again. I'll usually take another one. They're really rough on your tummy. Those uh, they're giant too. They're big fucking giant pills. Other than that though, I'm I'm doing good. Hey veteran, what's up, buddy? Well, it's 12 o'clock, so I'm going to give it actually a couple more minutes and maybe a few more people can come in. See how it goes. We had 50 people watching last time, so kind of don't want to start too early and then some people miss out on the story. So we'll give it another like two or three minutes. It's good though, I get time to catch up with you guys and chat and stuff. Uh, do, you, do you guys remember how to make the uh, text box bigger um, so that it's easier for me to read? It's, you gotta like do the mouse wheel and alt or something. It's not working here. I try to keep shit positive too. Like if I'm not having a good day or if I feel like shit, I'd usually just keep it to myself. I'm not. I don't want you guys all bumped out and stuff. I'd rather you guys, you know, have to keep positive vibes going. And have a... we're here to play games and have fun and chat and uh, it's like watching a movie together with your friends, right? You don't want that one guy who's oh man, my day sucks. So it's nice and sunny out today. Uh, where I live, it's usually cold and rainy all the time. Kind of like um, Ireland. But today's a nice one. The sun's coming in. Might have to actually shut my curtains so that I can see the TV screen without glare. Kind of like washing. Yeah, actually, it's it is. Uh, we have a very similar. Um, like trees and, and and stuff like that here as well. Southeast Mexico. I always wanted to go to Mexico, but all those news reports terrify me. I'm gonna get put in an oil barrel or something, you know. <laughs> They're always talking. Oh, the cartel has fucking kidnapped another family, and they're holding them ransom and all that shit. If I did go to Mexico, though, I wouldn't want to stay in some super fancy resort. I'd rather, like, see the actual culture and the people and the little villages and stuff. I want to eat, like, authentic um, Mexican food. Fuck, that'd be so good, man. Made by some grandma who's been doing it for, like, three frickin' four generations or something of kids. Oh, thanks, Javier. Two bucks. We haven't even started yet. As always, much love, brother. Thank you. I'm feeling Okay, we got 15 people in here. I think we can get started. If you guys, uh, you know, if you're later than... Uh, we haven't got to 12.05 yet. 
Do you guys want to wait another two minutes to get a few more people, or we can get started now? It's up to you. I can wait a, a, another couple minutes. And grab all your libations or whatever. Get that going. Where we left off last time, we were on, like, the cusp of of uh, the ending, I think. We have one chapter. So we're going to do finish out this chapter, and then um, we'll start in on the Man of Medan. And that was made by the same people who made this but are a lot earlier in their career, so it might not be as refined. It's still going to be more of the same, though, like cool storyline, spooky shit going on. I think the Man of Medan one, it's kind of like, um, you know, Call of Cthulhu type shit, which I always found fascinating, that cosmic horror kind of stuff. Yeah. Man, I want to eat some of Javier's frickin' food. I was looking at that earlier today in the food thing where you posted it. Excuse me. Looks good. You guys eat a lot of avocado, too. That's really healthy for you as well. I was thinking maybe I should uh, incorporate some more of that into my diet. I have to watch what I eat, right? Because I'm not very active. I don't get a lot of exercise. If I sat around eating too much chips or fatty foods, I'm just going to balloon out, turn into fucking Brendan Fraser. Oh man, homemade corn tortillas. Tortillas? Alright, it's 12.05. We've got 16 people. We're starting this biatch. Here we go! Oh, thank you, Tyler Irk, for the OP comment. Hackett's Quarry Island, August 23rd, Chapter 10, Bricks and Mortar. Hey, look, it's Max. Like tore off and you exploded. You gotta be kidding me. Okay. Gotta find Laura. <laughs> Sexy! Ooh, look at that. He's got the belly shirt on. Damn, son. Right. If I'm not mistaken, we've explored all of this already as the other character, have we not? I don't think there's any more um, clues to find either. Totally should have just gone to the Harbinger Motel. He does have a nice little bum, though. I'll give him that. 
All right, onward. Ooh, a matching hat. She has to come back. Everything's so fucking quiet. I don't like it. Right, Marm? <laughs> you need some of those toe shoes or whatever. All right, uh, let's place the first uh, vote here. And while you guys do that, I'm going to check my stream labs. I understand my wife told me that I had a dono and it's not updating my thing. Um, we have two choices here. Number one is to stay and number two is to swim to shore. But I think I'll leave it up to you guys. I'm going to check my stream labs. Go ahead and vote now. I do love these interactive chat streams. They're so fun. I like chatting with you guys. I like that you get to choose the story. And of course, Illusionati with the 10 bucks, man, in the Streamlabs dono. Appreciate you, homie. Fucking W. Thank you, Illusionati. You're so consistent with the every time, man. I love your support, man. I can't thank you enough. Anyways, <clears throat> what do we got here? 62% say to swim. All right, uh, we we we're gonna try to swim to shore. Let's see how it goes. Okay, this better have a great fucking ending. You guys know you just infected the rest of the island with another frickin' werewolf, right? And then once he gets over there, he's... <laughs> Instantly fucking killed. Way to go, chat! <laughs> That's okay, I fucking hated that character and I wanted him to die. I'm kind of glad you chose that. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Hackett's quarry, what did they say? Lodge? Okay. Oh, that was just the instantness of it was fucking crazy, man. Help me. He was a werewolf already. Maybe he'll survive because of his regeneration power? I don't know. Okay. Well. Can't get much worse than it already is, right? Great. Just like the cartoons. It's been off and on all night. Gives us a little time. How do you figure? They don't like water, remember? Right. Right. That's uh, right, Morm. You, you did. Just been swimming in the lake all night. And die of hypothermia? No. All right. Well, we're good now. Night's not over yet. These fuckers know we're in here, and they're coming back the first chance they get. Great news. Okay. All right. We gotta get a vantage point. I like her. She's probably the only one I, I want to live.
feel like I should look around, but haven't we already, um... I'm gonna have a quick look around. Spaghetti. Morm, don't be spoiling shit, man. Come on, bro. It's okay, because the next game we're playing, Man of Medan, I don't think any of you fuckers yeah, even know what that game is. How long has this guy been here? Chapter 10, Lodge Chimney Column. <laughs> Large and overbearing, this regal oil painting of Septimus Hackett holds pride place among the Lodge's chimney column. This is probably the original werewolf douchebag. We're going to have to kill him at some point, maybe? I don't know long time ago long enough ago that it was okay to have an oil painting made of yourself i kind of want an oil painting of me now <laughs> paint me like one of your asian girls all right number one keep looking number two prepare for attack send your votes in now I always hear Whiteman when I try to do the announcer voice now. It's like, hello, gang! Ha ha ha! Place those votes now! Oh, it looks like you guys are out for blood. <laughs> 12 out of 25 of you voted for two. See if any more votes come in to tie it up, no? Alright, we send it on two. Every dusk and dawn all through the summer. What doesn't kill you will make you stronger. stronger. We're here to lead the way. That meets for life, we're proud to proud say. To shout it strat and shout out loud. We're hacketeers. Two months and you never learn the words? Well, that sounds friendly. If Resident Evil's taught me anything, there's probably a puzzle behind that uh, painting you need to do. <laughs> showtime, motherfuckers. Ooh, showtime. Ooh, it's exciting. Jacob. Ah, this fucking guy. Fuck this whole night. I just wish I could tell you I'm sorry. More than anything. Peanut butter pops. <laughs> Fuck. I just wanted one more night together. Is that too much to ask for? <laughs> Shit. What's up, Stop Mike? Crying, you big baby. <laughs> I don't know what to do. You're just gonna fold and cry like a bitch in the woods. Come on, man. Climb a tree or something and try to escape. I don't know. 
Okay, Emma, just stay cool. Everything's gonna be okay. Just breathe. What the shit? Maybe? You know? You got a gun? Oh, fuck. We're in deep shit, chat. <sighs> Quickly, ones or twos. Do we run or do we wait? You gotta be quick on these ones. Hopefully you're uh, up to speed with this, the thing. I'm seeing a one in the chat. Three ones, one, one, one. Everybody's saying one. All right, one. Okay, let's go, let's go. Sorry. Wait. Yes, I can. Silver shells. Come on, Caitlin. Come this way. This way. <laughs> Talking to a TV. All right, be quick again, guys. Are we taking the beam across the thing, or are we going through the window? Please be quick. Also, if you guys uh, put your resolution a little lower, you'll be quicker in the stream, or you'll be more caught up, so these choices. So we've got a two. A bunch of twos. Two, you guys seem unanimously want two. Twos, take it. Caitlin, you bitch, that's a third shotgun you lost. One or two, put her in the chat. Do we run or do we hide? One to run, two to hide. Get him in quick. Seeing a lot of ones in the chat. Looks like the ones take. We run. She just did a giant loop back to where they were. Fuck. Investigate or run? One to investigate, two to run. Get them in quick. Pop, pop, peanut butter, pop. Lots of ones? Yeah, okay. We investigate. Path updated. 
here. Shoot him in the dick. Fuck you. I got you, motherfucker. Got it? Yeah. Yeah, I got it. She didn't put the silver shell in the shotgun, did she? I thought she just blasted him normally. Laura, Route 919. Inquisitive Accusatory. Alright, chat. Put in one for Inquisitive. What exactly happened six years ago? Or Accusatory. How did you do it? Send your votes in now! Once again, we do the voting. At least, I want to get at least half the community voting. So we'll wait till we get to roughly, you know, 12 or so votes before we choose we're at 10 11 oh it's neck and neck 12 votes 13 62 percent for number one any more voters coming in wait for the people who are lagging behind a little bit looks like one's taking it so what exactly happened six years ago there was a fire that wiped out dozens of people, and now there's werewolves and a ghost that roams the woods looking for her lost baby boy. Which I've just put together is Silas. Oh shit. It's a long story. No, it's not. There was a fire. Silas the wolf boy escaped, bit a bunch of your family. You failed to stop him. Burn. What happened in the past doesn't matter right now. Uh, it kind of does, actually. We need to know what we're up against, at least. What we're up against is a feral boy turned werewolf for the last six years has avoided being found. No matter what we did. Every full moon we were out there looking. Every single one. Now the son of a bitch is finally here. So what we're up against is my only chance to end this thing for good. So how do you even know where he is? How the hell are we gonna find him just driving down the middle of the road? <laughs> that answer your question, bitch? <laughs> Number one to grab the gun, number two to take the wheel. Take the wheel or grab the gun, chat. Please vote now. Ooh, we're neck and neck. Oh, it's back and forth. It's a vote battle. Keep the votes coming in. We're 50-50 with 12 votes. Fifteen votes, say number two, take the wheel. Sixteen votes, all right, we're taking the wheel. Travis! Travis, get it together, come on! Okay, I got it, I got it, I got it, just get down!
Corey Drift. Where did he go? The Fast and the he Furious. Disappeared. He's got to be nearby. Path update. Hey, chat. Good choice so far. Looks Let's like we're around. doing okay. Oh, they're going to kill off Ted, man. I like Ted. I have a feeling they're going to kill off Ted. Are we there yet? You're okay. Been better, but yeah. You guys remember what happened to Shrek? Over here. Got some blood. Leads through there. What the hell happened back here? Whoa. This is where we went off the road two months ago. We're probably the old lady's house or something. To decide if you should shoot me in the head right now. Go ahead. That's what you want. I won't stop you. What? What? Why? Where'd this come from? What? Normally, I'd have werewolf's blood cover our scent, but I'm all out, so we're high risk. We could be killed. You ready to end this? All right, place your votes now. Number one is determined. Let's fucking do this. Number two is bitter. This is the end. Number one, determined. Number two, bitter. Looks like we got an overwhelming amount of votes for number one. We go number one. Let's fucking do this. Go team. I love watching movies with you guys. This is so much fun. It all makes sense now. You got wolf blood? Found it in the woods. Travis just reminded me. Um, you should take it. There's not enough for the both of us. No, I can't. I can't do that. It's yours. Ooh. You've been through a lot more than I have. Anyone deserves to get out of this alive, it's you. Now, are we gonna let- I, I'm guessing this decides who lives or dies here, so let's place our votes. Number one, to take the vial. Number two, to give it to Ryan. Personally, I don't like Ryan, and I'd rather the chick survives, but it's up to you, chat. You guys are the story uh, tellers. What do we, no, the um, narrators, I guess. Well, Jeremy, you're starting out after this. We're, we're going to finish this. We're starting a new game. We're going to do a new stream, and it'll be a whole brand new game. And you can get in on the ground floor, buddy. So, Every Sunday, by the way, guys, we do this. Uh, and I'm going to continue doing the choice-driven choose-your-own-adventure games because I know you guys like that. What's up, Rick? How you doing, buddy? Welcome to the uh, the chill stream movie Sunday thing we do. And hey, if I'm feeling spicy later, maybe we'll do some GTA as well. But for now, I'm really digging the chill Sunday stuff. <clears throat> 19 votes, 68% on number one. Thanks. Hello, Chris. That means a lot. Yeah, Pass updated. Uh, yeah, no worries. Haha, <laughs> you're gonna die, boy! <laughs> oh, oh, some Opie came out of me there. Opie is leaking. Make sure you have drinks for GTA. You guys are such fucking enablers. Jesus Christ.
I hope they don't kill Ted Raimi either. Hey, I like his character. Cool vibes. Podcast didn't do justice. You don't know the half of it. This is where I saw her. Her? I thought she was... <laughs> I thought Max hit her, but then I was out here and she was something else. Who? The woman. The old woman. She was saying something over and over again. Oh my god, she was saying Silas. No, that's impossible. Who you're talking about? I saw her too. In the rum tunnels. It's Eliza Vores. Silas's mother. I think. Annoyed or probing? Number one, annoyed, you think. Number two, probing. Who was she? Get your votes in now while I eat my chippies. Ooh, it's exciting times. Wow, overwhelming for number two, eh? All right. Who was she? She ran a traveling sideshow called Harem Scarum. Came here six years back. She kept her son in a cage. Called him Silas the Wolf Boy. Died in a fire. Some say she never left. The hag of Hackett's quarry. We've been looking for Silas ever since. How did the fire start? Really? You're still hiding stuff now? You blew half the head off my niece, Kaylee Hackett. One of the kindest, gentlest souls to ever walk this earth. And all she wanted to do was help that little boy. Locked in a cage by that freak show witch. What did she do? She just wanted to help him. Travis. She convinced Caleb to start a fire. It was just a distraction. It's May Bales. Give him enough time to get Silas out of his cage and give him his freedom. That's not what happened. No. Because within minutes, everybody was dead. You ever see Hayburn, Liza, whole crew? Kaylee managed to get Silas to freedom. But Caleb got bit in the process. All right, choice one, reflective. That's why you've been hunting him? Choice two, mean. We could just kill Caleb. Nine votes, 67%. Keep them coming. Fourteen votes. We get one or two more votes. All right, we go number one. That's why you've been hunting him. Silas, I mean. Every full moon for six fucking years. Some hunter you are. This, this is all that's left. Jesus Christ. Man. Any sign? Negative. Damn, I never saw any of this. I didn't even know this was here. Yeah, wander off on your own. There's a smart choice. Dumb shit deserves to die at this point. <laughs> Got it! Huh? Ryan? Cool. Shit. I'm sorry, that was... Close. We must be close. Did you both see, see it too? I kind of wish I hadn't. Same.
What is it? Silas the dog boy. That must be it. You'd have to be a cold-hearted bitch Here. to lock your fucking child in a cage and uh, exploit him for money and shit. Did I say kill the fucking witch? Shoot him in the dick! What's wrong? What are you waiting for? Shoot, you stupid girl! Raise gun or do nothing. Number one, to raise the gun. Number two, to do nothing. Get him in quick. Also, if the sound is low, let me... Like, I can turn that up for you guys. I didn't realize... Put your votes in quickly, though, because I'm running out of time and I'm going to do nothing otherwise. We got a one, a one. Anyone else? We're getting lots of ones. Peanut butter pops. <laughs> okay, we re raised the gun. Are you sure about this? Shoot. All right, we're taking the shot. Fuck it. After Shrek, I promised that any time I had a shot on a uh, werewolf, I would take it. We don't need another Shrek incident. <laughs> Please, let's, just, let's just go before we, we have to see him like that in human form. It's too late for that. Let me guess, it was one of our crewmates, our buddy or something. Pop, pop, peanut butter, pop, pop, pop. <laughs> I think we pissed off the witch, oh no. I bet you think you have it all figured out. I bet you think you're fucking clever. I tried to help you. I tried to warn you. I even started to like you. Not now. Not after this. I will not forget what you made them do to my Silas. I've been with you all night. And I'm not about to stop now just because the night's come to an end. No. Whenever you hear a noise in the dark, a whisper from the shadows, the breath on the back of your neck, that's gonna be me. I'll be there. Now I will never leave you. I'll never leave you. Great chat, you got us cursed, fuckers. <laughs> By the way, is the sound okay for you guys? If not, I can crank it up in the, uh, thing. Oh, listen, it's Happy Good Time Friends music. Da 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 Happiness and friendship together in the woods with my chat and me. You got me fucking cursed, chat. Now I'm gonna turn into a werewolf, IRL. Put her in a nursing home. <laughs> oh, Bobby Hackett deceased. Bobby was mauled to death by his werewolf brother. Mm. Chris Hackett deceased. Chris was killed when his favorite counselor Ryan shot him with silver. Constance Hackett deceased. Laura Constance is faced off with a struggle for the gun. Jedediah Hackett is deceased. He was choked to death by a vengeful Laura. Nick Falucio. Werewolf Nick was shot dead by Laura when she mistook him for Chris. Kaylee Hackett, deceased. Hackett's daughter Kaylee was shot and killed by Laura who mistook her for a werewolf. Oh, and then a Shrek Abigail met her demise when Nick tore her head from her body. Holy fuck, that was brutal. 
Oh, Jacob lived. Having successfully avoided infection, Jacob was freed in Hackett's basement and survived the night. Max Brinley is deceased. Max swam back to the mainland where a hungry Caleb was waiting for him. Whatever, fuck him. Emma Mountainbeak, alive. Emma survived the night safely of Chris Hackett's surveillance room. Dylan Levia, whatever. Dylan survived the night by taking refuge from Caleb in the kitchen. Yeah, best girl. Caitlin survived the night by killing Caleb, curing all those infected by his lineage. Fucking W. Caleb Hackett, deceased. Emma was able to pass silver shells to Caitlin during the attack in the lodge where Caitlin used to kill Caleb. Travis Hackett is alive, survived the encounter with Silas, and finally saw an end to the curse that had haunted his family for six years. Ryan was cured of the werewolf infection when he shot Chris and managed to survive the, shadow to the showdown with the white werewolf. Laura killed Silas with a silver share shell, curing every infected person who survived the night. Silas dead. Laura killed Silas the dog boy in his nest. The curse of Hackett's quarry is broken! Congratulations, Chad. I think that's pretty good. All the people I didn't like died and uh, Caitlin lived. Except for now, we're personally cursed by the old lady. Not freaking bad, yo. We kind of wiped out Ted's fucking whole family. Tragedy. Freak bear attack leaves several dead. What do you make of that, I love that term, several. Like, the detectives are just... They, they don't even count the bodies. They're not like one, two, they're like one, two, three. Yeah, you know what? It's several, several murders. You know, it might be a tactic though. They can't give out that information yet. Sometimes detectives are notoriously difficult to solicit information from, especially when you go in Ooh, saying- Stick around hey, chat because we're paranormal. starting a brand new game after this. I thought we'd done the whole hack That's in the same thing. vein, not same type of, uh, same people made it. It's quarry thing. What was this, like three months ago? Old news, dude. Anton? Introductions first. We are Bizarre Yet Bonafide, the podcast Ooh, of the paranormal. They're angry at I'm Grace. And I'm Anton. And together, we explore the possibility of supernatural involvement in real life, everyday occurrences. And that's exactly what they are. Real life, everyday occurrences. With a shadow of spiritual, supernatural occurrences. No. <sighs> okay, so... I hope you've got hat insurance, Anton, because I'm about to blow your mind. Did you just ask if I had hat insurance? Yes. It's responsible to insure those things which mean the most to you. A hat? Oh. Yes. Okay, I know where your priorities lie. Go on. <laughs> anyway, there actually is a real reason that we're coming back to Hackett's Quarry. Oh, no. Sequel there bait. There have been some developments, and I've sourced some information. I remain skeptical, but I'm all ears. Under my hat. I was hoping you'd say that. Oh, God. Why? Why are you smiling? Stop it. I hate it. Why? I had braces. I have to make use of them sometimes. You do have very pretty teeth. Thank you. That's something that a lot of podcast listeners might not know about me. <clears throat> so, it just so happens I've got someone on the inside. So, today's episode is going to have a bit of a show-and-tell vibe to it. Who do you know on the inside? The inside of where? What? You know someone on the inside? Don't we all have someone on the inside? You know, an inner critic that mm. says, Stop doing a podcast. No one's listening. You should listen to I'd that like voice, that more. Grace. Okay, well, what I really meant is, let's call it an anonymous donation. You know, we're not the only ones who flagged this as a bizarre situation. Someone actually reached out to us. They sent us a package. Did you, you didn't open it. Anyone who, I don't trust anyone who listens to this show. Oh, I couldn't wait to open it. Surprise! Anonymous donation. Okay, you've always promised me since day one of this podcast that if you could see true evidence, you will consider all options, right? Did you not say that? I did say that, yes. I mean, I know Knowing for a fact that we would never see any evidence, I did say that. Okay, well... We've been sent information, and we need to decide whether it's bizarre or bona fide. <sighs> okay, fine. Let's do this. For anyone listening at home, we are about to open a package from a mysterious person who listens to this show. If you are the one who sent us whatever it is, congrats. You got us. God, sorry, the tape is just really, really... There's just so much tape on the package. Sorry, can you help me with this? 
Do you know, like explode fucking so werewolf sad. juice you know, in their I face or something? You dull my key. Just use your fingers. But just give me your fucking key, Anton. No. Give me your fucking key. No. Get your own key. I like you lock your door. Of course I lock my door. What are you what are you hiding? What am I hiding? Do you not lock your doors? No, I have nothing to hide. You think that ghosts are real, but you don't lock your doors? No, ghosts couldn't open my doors. They could walk through my walls, Anton. Okay, you need to be more concerned with murderers. So, remember those missing hikers? Yeah. What if I showed you leaked photos from one of their cameras? Photos that show them at Hackett's Quarry, supposedly where the camera was found. I would think that maybe they went there and they dropped their camera. Okay, Anton, let me ask you real quick. What makes you drop your camera? Uh, tripping over a root. Um, being... Hey, white jelly jostled. in my hand. Uh in uneven uh, row of cobblestones. What about being murdered? If you dropped your phone, you wouldn't go missing. Where are they now? I don't know. People get lost in the woods all the time. There's like hundreds of people a year. They could be anywhere. That's not all. No? Mm -mm. I'm about to lay a little something else on you. My sources also tell me that their backpacks were found at the summer camp. Really? Then, okay, well then, shouldn't this be public knowledge? Why aren't the Hackett's prime suspects? Exactly my point. Maybe they're all they dead. <laughs> be if anyone knew where they were. Is it all just a big cover-up operation? Yeah, Killed that's all where of it them, falls but Ted. in my opinion. So, we've got to talk a little more about the Hackett family. Right, so these guys are like the heritage landowners, right? Mm -hmm. Well, for anal sex, obviously. Yeah. Leia's Their great-great-great-grandparents were trappers who claimed the land way back when. They just claimed it? Yes, they did. They put their flag on it just like the man on the moon. The Hackett family flag, right. Don't ask if you don't want to know. Well, <laughs> apparently when they claimed it, they found quartzite. Quartzite? Okay, I was hoping you would ask. Fun fact, every building in the whole of New York is made of Quartzite. That's not fun or a fact. Most of them are. But I digest. Digress? It was a pun. They dug the quarry and hit great heights of success before Septimus Hackett, classic bad guy name, the seventh son of the trappers, the number seven, has great supernatural powers, uh -huh. closed the mine down. Okay, so then they only had the land to live off. Yes, you say only, but this land actually spans acres. That's a lot of forest. A lot of unexplored darkness. Ooh, okay, a great place to hide, to have all these dark secrets for this strange, reclusive family. Mm -hmm. And this is where we start to get a little more into paranormal territory. Okay, here acres we go. Acres and acres of haunted woods. Ooh. If you say so. Pop, pop, pop. Yeah. <laughs> All right, is that it? Pop, pop, peanut butter pops. We done? <laughs> the answer, Welcome I think. to Bizarre Yet Bonafide, the podcast of the paranormal. Hello, Black Square. What's up? Welcome back to Bizarre Yet Bonafide. Anton, today I'm actually going to pass you some light. Okay, you're gonna make me read this? Mm-hmm. All right, um, this is... What you're seeing now is a copy of a letter that Kaylee Hackett wrote to her grandma, allegedly. Oh, uh, Kaylee, right. the innocent, the uh, dead. This seems like more of a you job, but I suppose right, I can Right, but read I, I this. feel like if some of the evidence comes from your mouth, it will have more clout. Right, okay, here we go. Gammy. How long we gonna drag this shit out? Mm. I know family is the most important thing, but I wanna know what's outside the forest, outside this damn house and camp, and I sure as hell know that ain't about to happen cause of who we are. Maybe we can explain what's going on. Fucking show people. Then they'll know we got no control over it. 
I know you're just trying to protect us, but one day you won't be here no more, and right now it feels like we stuck in a dark hole. I can't sleep, Gammy, or if I do, I dream about that fucking fire? We were just dumbass kids back then. I wish it never happened. Love, K, X, O, X, O. That took a turn. Yes. Dream about that fucking fire. Does that not read as the haunted scribblings of someone who saw something that they shouldn't have seen? Yeah, no, mm. I'm fully creeped out. She was clearly going through some stuff. And this is legit? She was hooked I mean, on those peanut butter pops, yo. I don't pops, know yeah. why someone would fake it. Then again, I can't verify any of this. So, you've got to suspend your disbelief slightly. Man, this poor girl. Yeah, there was something going on, something eating away at her. And that's what I want to explore. Okay, well, consider my disbelief suspended for now. So, I don't think that's going to be a problem for this next one. Oh god, why? Holy shit, this is a cease and desist letter. And it's addressed to us. Dude, why didn't you tell me about this? Well, it was never actually sent. That's insane! What? Signed by Travis Hackett. Hey, we're not doing anything illegal. Aren't we? Think about it. I guess it wasn't technically sent to us. Cease and desist letters come from people hiding stuff. Fucked up that these guys know who we are. Okay, but putting the Hackett family aside for a moment, there's more to this. Are you ready for some real spooky shit? I'm ready for real spooky shit. I don't know if you can provide it, but please try. <sighs> don't get too freaked out. I'll try my hardest. Okay, do you want to hold my hand? No. Okay, do you need someone to comfortingly pat your back? Please, just... What a say patronizing what bitch. <laughs> do you want me to turn all the lights on so you don't... I don't want you to do it? anything. I want you to say what you have. Actually, you might be a little freaked out at this. Ugh. Is that skin? Skin, fur, whatever you want to call it, really. It looks human. Hmm. Wait, is it? Apparently, it belongs to whatever creature supposedly caused all this. Do we have the actual thing? Can I see it in the flesh, so to speak? No, just the photo. Whoever got in touch was smart enough to not risk actually stealing evidence. Convenient that we can't see the real deal, huh? Come on, man. Just saying. So this next thing to me isn't overtly supernatural, but it'd be unfair not to discuss it. Okay, so far I wouldn't describe any of it as overtly supernatural, but sure, let's do this. <clears throat> Claw marks. Wow, you're right. That is underwhelming. But I'm kind of interested because whoever did reach out thought it was worth sharing. Grace, it's highly likely this is all just an elaborate we found was a claw True, marks. but if I treated everything like that, then I wouldn't have a job. Eh, fair point, I guess. Okay, you know what? It's weird. I'll give you that. Oh my god. I just said it was weird. Don't make a big deal out of it. Oh my god, I've done it. You haven't done anything. I said it was weird. I've done it. I've turned you. You're... I've converted you hey, to my quick side. Roll. You're a believer Thank you now, for the five right? bucks. Thanks I for the matinee. I on your side. I won. I won. You, you got another fucking win. show coming right after this one. I have prevailed. You Whole have new not, story. Look, I just mean I can see it. The lack of details in the news report and this stuff. Uh, I don't know. Whatever it means, there's merit to the idea that something strange went down. Strange. Interesting word choice. So, what are you saying? Shut up. Come on. No. Give me what I I'm want. I'm not giving here. you anything. You've practically given it. Just give me the succinct sound bite I so desperately long for. Okay, I never agreed to this title, but I would agree that for the first time ever, this case could well be bizarre yet bona fide. Ah! This is the best day of my life. And that's sad. Why? Is it not yours? No. So what now? Well, we gotta send this stuff to the police. They can decide whether it's useful or not. I just wish we could know more. I wish we could just look into a crystal ball and see how it all played out. Yeah, but what fun would that be? Sure, we could speculate, but we weren't there. We didn't go through what these kids went through. There's no way we'll ever really know what truly went down at Hackett's quarry. Um, who the fuck even are you? I'm being genuine. That was beautiful. Thank you. You just launched into precisely the kind of content I've been trying to make. It's just the first time we've had a coherent thought on this podcast. Is that it? God. 
Look how many fucking people worked on this game. There's I, the names have been going this whole time, like five minutes of name scrolling. It's got to be at least a thousand fucking people, man. And it just keeps going. So is that it? Here, enter, click, click. Okay. Should I just quit it out or let the fucking text roll? I don't know. Can you guys read what that says in the top right on that yellow sticky note? I can't quite make it out from my TV. Rabbit hole, okay, thank you. Alright, the next game coming up is called Man of Medan. It's part of a four-part anthology by the same creators who made this. I believe it came out before this, so it might not be as refined. Um, the choice in that one, they're a little different. You get three choices and one of them is to do nothing. So that to do nothing, in the, it will always be three. And then I will have to manually type out the names of the choices because you won't be able to see one and two. I like... I have to pause it uh, during the choice selection because they don't have an infinite choice selection timer. So things will work a little bit differently, but other than that, it's going to be the same type of scenario. We'll control out the game, we'll walk through as the characters, we'll do the puzzles, the quick time events, and uh, you guys will have all the choices. I'll be up to you guys. The only thing I'm doing is kind of walking the characters through the story. And I take advice all the way through too. If you, there's like, the only thing I say is don't spoil it if you've played it before and no back backseat like. Uh, actually, you can backseat game all you want. Just don't spoil shit. Why is this still going? There's so many people. Aidster, you got the green sheep, buddy. Yeah. That's so unique, bro. You're the only one, I think. I don't think I've seen a golden sheep yet, though. I hope too soon. By the way, yeah, if you guys are feeling generous and all that, I'd rather have uh, members than donos, just because it grows the community and I'm really trying to grow you guys. Also, if you haven't uh, already subbed, go ahead and sub. Click the like button, it helps me a lot um, for engagement and all that shit with the algorithms. And what else? Oh yeah, the Discord. Hit up the Discord and uh, come chat with us. I'm on like almost 24 hours a day. You can get a hold of me through DMs. I pretty much friend everyone. Um, if you're a weirdo, I'll block you, but other than that, um, it's like a big happy friendly family here. And I'm getting ADD here and I want to just close this game. Is, is there an end screen? More of me played this, right? Is there a point to waiting for this, or should we just start the next one? Ooh, Illusionati's got one too. <laughs> okay, so you haven't... I'm just gonna quit then, and we're gonna start the next one. I have to restart the stream so it's a whole new, like, uh, video of its own, right? So please rejoin me in a few moments while I just quickly switch the game out here and the title, etc. Okay? We'll be right back. Thank you, guys.